Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Now let's start first. Let's see about the time frame of this reading. Uh, what are the energies for you and uh, relating to the person that is currently on your mind. So first let's shuffle the deck four times. So let's start with the current energies. Ten of Wands and the Strength card, similar energies. It feels very heavy, this past situation. This relationship that you have with them, it feels dramatic, like you are doing all the heavy work there. It's not easy at all, like there is not a natural flow of communication like you both are hesitant to reach out to each other to talk freely openly with vulnerability so it, it doesn't seem like quite easy it seems quite intense in fact that's the general energy you are getting from the situation at this moment, but what happened in the past? What were the problems there? You may have given another chance to them, but they behaved the same. They showed not much feelings and no emotions, instead being cold, detached, angry, upset. You viewed many red flags in the past, but I am getting that you didn't want to listen to those red flags because you you had so much belief in that dream and you didn't want to destroy that dream by focusing on those red flags that you may have thought they were just little insecurities. But it was not the case. What is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment is you may have some motivation to try again, but you want to be logical as well. You want to look at the facts, the data, not just the feelings, emotions, the desire for them. And when you think about that, you are very, you get some uh, hard facts, some bitter uh, feelings there about the whole situation. Like it is not that easy, in fact, to take that leap of faith and trust again the process. How do you view the situation with them? You believe that if you both can find an, a way on how you can uh, move this connection to something more stable and more serious, it can bring happiness. Happiness can come only if you are in a committed, serious relationship with each other. If you focus mostly on the stability, on the foundation of the connection. Now, you want to avoid waiting forever. You have been avoiding. Uh, you, sorry, so you want to avoid waiting forever because you feel a bit discouraged now, now by all this waiting. You want to be more independent as well. Uh, as a person, also financially, your career, business, money, maybe on your mind, and you think that you should have put more focus there as well. You don't want to wait forever or for more time and then still be single or not come to some uh, conclusions that uh, you may like here, like being with them. 
what you fear is that that passion of theirs may not be very consistent. They may not be very reliable. They may give the impression like they have desire for you, but you have that insecurity that one day they will be turned off immediately, like they did in the past. That is your fear, that the attraction of theirs is not that strong. Now let's see about them. Let's see about their energies towards you. For the time frame of this reading. For this, let's shuffle the deck uh, four more times. The underlying energy, the Empress, uh, their cards are the Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands, Reverse, Three of Cups. Let's clarify below those three. This person wants to reconcile with you or wants to find a way on how you can be back together. They know it is not easy. They know it, it, it needs lots of time, patience, dedication. Uh, they are trying to be more patient. They are realizing it, that this situation cannot be solved if they are not patient. I think they have physical attraction towards you. That's why they want to reconnect. They want to see movement towards and they even think about coming towards you with a love message or as a prince or princess charming. But uh, what is stopping here all this progress is that lack of communication. Uh, there's some blockage there. For a small minority of you, there may be some distance that is a problem. But I'm getting blockage of communication mostly. And that blockage of communication is affecting that uh, desire of theirs to celebrate the love again with you. They think it blocks that dream of theirs. So they want to be in a harmonious, happy connection with you. But it cannot happen if you both cannot communicate. So the per this person wants to talk, but they can't talk. They have attraction towards you, and that's why they want to reunite. They want to progress this situation. And they are very full aware that uh, you both should have a conversation to find a middle way uh, on how things can be progressed forward. If you both can make some healthy compromises, uh, compromises for the connection. They have doubts that uh, it may be successful. They think about that, that uh, reconciliation or making peace or finding a middle way but they are still still very confused uh, i got the the temperance clarified by the moon card so they have lots of stress about that they are not sure if even by waiting more time uh, this reconciliation can happen and you can agree on uh, moving on in trying again in this situation I will continue now this reading in the extended with more details uh, for all water signs. So for you Pisces, also for Cancer and Scorpio, it applies to all of you. And this is the extended where I will cover feelings, how they view you, what are their intentions for now, the mutual energies and the energies around each one of you. If you want to watch the extended, you can find it now in the description box below this video. See you the next reading and bye for now.